Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a video breakdown of another AI video that I created as a concept video, similar to the last one that I made, but in Pika Labs. This one was made in Pigsverse. And again, it is just a concept video in the sense of taking images that I've either generated, for example, in Mid Journey and use the AI image to video or an AI text to video on Pigsverse itself using different prompts and again, different images to show a variation of what you're able to create. And I actually really love making these videos. They're a bit of a creative outlet for me. I love to play around with them. There's not really much of a sort of drive to them other than just to show what you can achieve and how good they are really. Again, like the last video, the song that's used in this video is copyrighted, so I won't play it in the actual video itself. I'll play it without sound. The video is on X, that's where I uploaded it. And the link to that is down below. First off, just quickly, this is my profile again on X, the Future Fuel Cafe, and this is the video. And if we go over to highlights, this is the old video that I made that went viral. It got 14,000. What we're gonna do is basically go through image by image and just show you how I either generated that clip or if it was an image that I then had go to video, image to video. So starting off with the first image, I actually uh, created a separate video reviewing Pixverse as a whole and I actually broke down some of these images. So if you're interested in seeing that, I've also linked that down below and it'll probably pop up here as well. And as I'm going through this as well, you'll see at the bottom of every video, if, I, if, if the seed isn't there, I will put it at the bottom of the video just along here so you can see. And if you want to play around with it, then you'll see. This is just a really cool clip of a spaceman, I guess, walking through a futuristic cyberpunk city. And I just really loved it. It is my favorite image that it has generated to date. That is, is um, yeah, I just really love it. The color, the quality, yeah, just really 10 out of 10 for me. And I just wanted to use it as an opening shot. This is the second one, which I generated on Mid Journey. And this was Michael Jordan inspired because I was watching his last dance on uh, Netflix at the time. And it was just incredible. And I just thought, well, why not? And it came out really nicely. And I just, again, really liked it. This now is a text to video. Fuji camera, woman, model, upper body, a 23 year old gorgeous woman, slight smirk, detailed skin, face and eyes, natural lighting at home, long hair, low contrast, natural face, freckles, dark blonde hair, brown eyes, and that is the seed and the style is realistic. Now I actually got this from the community feed of Pixverse and then added to it. And I played around with it a few times because the original shot was intimate, but the eyes had a bit of a weirdness going on again where they didn't look, well, they looked lifeless to be honest. <laughs> but I really liked how this came along. The only thing is there's a tiny bit of morphing on the face in the final couple of seconds. If you just see just there a little bit, but other than that, I really liked how that came out. So the prompt was a woman drinking coffee and reading thick book and nothing more than that. The style is realistic and you'll just see really, it's just got a really subtle, slow movement to the image. She herself doesn't really have a lot of movement. It's just more of a camera, but I just really liked it. Actually, it looks really cozy and it actually reminded me, funnily enough, of my mom when I was a kid. I always remember we had a big bookcase and she'd always just be reading in the corner. Then the next one is a firework display. So for this, I put fireworks going off over city skyline. And again, this is the seed and it's in the anime style, which I really, really thought came out really well, actually. Really lovely colors, love the depth to the image. Now, this was an image that I created on Mid Journey, and you'll just see it's just got a slight movement with the camera, only ever so subtle, but then you've got the people moving in the background, which I thought looked really, really cool. Again, it's that futuristic, maybe even matrixy style to it. This is cars driving through futuristic cyberpunk city, camera movement, motion blur. There's the seed and the style is realistic. Now, other than the car morphing in the first few seconds there, and then a little bit there as well, which it seemed to get away with a little bit, even though I don't like that, I just thought the overall image, you could get away with it and I just really loved that. So that's what I put in for that. And I think if you reprompted that a few times, you could actually generate a more consistent image. And this is a Fuji portrait shot because again, shooting on Fuji, I'm a Fuji fanboy. And it's a Fuji portrait shot of Stoic Man ripped 
fit, big muscles, cinematic colors, futuristic cyberpunk style. That's the seed and the style is realistic. Now I have to say what's something I'm also really impressed with with Pixverse is that it actually generates really nice portrait up close shots of people. And the only thing sometimes that I don't like is that the eyes look a little bit lifeless, but then again, it can do it really well when it's prompted right and it generates it correctly. And this one I just really liked. I thought it came out. I love the lighting. I love the color. I love the light on the face here. And it just looked really cool. And I love that sort of teal color going on in the background, how it's contrasted by a sort of cooler, warmer sort of color on his forehead there. So yeah, I just thought it was really nice. Now this is also one of my favorite, if not favorite generated shot of a face of a portrait of a human, an astronaut man looking out, of, uh, looking out of space window into deep space, intimate shot, cinematic portrait shot, close up, highly detailed, Milky Way, bright stars, vivid colors, planets, twinkling stars, cinematic colors, cinematic camera movements. That was a mouthful, wow. But um, there you go, that was the whole prompt. That is the seed and that is the style which is realistic. And I just thought this generated as an overall portrait or a shot of a person, this generated the best consistent image. I love the eyes, though that one a tiny bit, I'm being nitpicky there. I just, as an overall image, I love the reflection in his visor and the helmet, love the colors. I just really loved it. I just thought it was a fantastic shot possibly my favorite one. Next one is a Peaky Blinders sort of styled one. And this is man dressed in suit, stoic, inspiring, masculine, lifelike, Peaky Blinders, gotta have that in. Realism, 4K, 8K, HDR, ultra realism, natural movement. And other than the eyes here, which just look very dead and lifeless, um, I really liked how it came across. I love the detail on the suit. I love the tie here. And I just thought that bit really came out and the only bit that let it down is the eye, but that's me nitpicking again. But I love the background, love the bokeh, the out of focus around them, so it really isolated him as well. This is futuristic spaceship, orbiting planet, realistic colors, soft cinematic lighting, planets in the background, highly detailed spaceship. And again, the style is realistic and that's the seed. And I actually really loved how this really came in. The only bit I don't like is it where it extends a little bit here, just around. But as a whole, I thought the colors looked really good. I love the planets in the background. They're pretty consistent until the end. And yeah, it just looked very cool, minus that bit there. Now, this one was just an image that I generated in Mid Journey. And I, um, again, will put the seed for this below here. And again, it just looked really cool, really liked it. And in the video, I think I've just put it reverse. So it looks like it's going forward instead of backwards, but that's all I did to the speed. Other than that, I really loved it. And I loved just the effect it gave. And I loved the character, how it isolated him. Then this one is a text to video. And I just basically put in raining outside window. That is the seed. And that's the uh, style, which is realistic. And I just liked on this that it looked a bit cozy, a tiny bit moody at the same time. I really loved the water effect going on a little bit here with it going on the umbrella. And the bit I don't like with the face, it morphs a bit there when it changes. And then also if you look at the hands a little bit there, it's a little bit of funkiness to them. But again, overall, I really liked it. Now this one is a futuristic cyberpunk city, city skyline, nighttime, neon lights, HDR, vivid colors, cinematic colors, striking visuals. And this again is a text to video. And this is the seed right here and the style is realistic. And I love the colors that I've got going on here. So you're looking here with the reflection and down here, the light just turns on. I think in the building just here, it just looked really lovely. And if you look at the contrast, how it goes across from a purpley pink to the blues, and then this is bright, reddy, orange sort of pink there. I just really love the vividness of, of uh, everything there. Next one is a uh, image that I used, just liked it moving forward. I would have liked a little bit of movement on the character itself, but I still think it looked really cool, just like sort of futuristic moving forward. This is actually a picture that I generated on Mid Journey, and the prompt that I put in was natural camera movement. And the guy isn't moving himself, but you just see this is moving around them, sort of like the smoke a little bit around them. And even though it's got a little bit of uh, weirdness going on with the movement, 
I still really liked it. I love the color contrast around here and there, so I thought I would use it. This is a neon lit cityscape, buzzes with life as flying cars zoom through the air. And holographic advertisements flicker on towering skyscrapers. The camera slowly zooms in on a, on a lone figure standing on a rooftop, her long coat, billowing in the wind. I think I may have actually copied that from something else for the prompt or added to it, but uh, this is the result that it generated regardless. This is the seed and the style is realistic. I love the detail on the coat there. I just think the background here, I really love the buildings there as well. I think the face looks a little bit static. It's not really moving and I would have liked to have seen the flying cars or just some movement just to see that it recognized that uh, part of the prompt. And then the final one was just an image that I uploaded and again, the seed I will put below here and I just think it looks very cool. I liked again on the background, just it moving, very subtle, but very effective is what I thought. So that is how I made this video. That is a shot by shot breakdown of how I generated them and what I did to create them. So I hope you find that useful. I hope you find that helpful. Go out there, play around with what you can generate on Pixverse. But I really enjoy making these videos, breaking down how I generate them, how I create them, because it's really just a bit of fun for me. So again, let me know what you think. What was your favorite shot? What did you not like so much? And let me know some of the results you get in the comments down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.